I'll be reacting to Tokyo Revengers episode 5. I'll be watching it from Crunchyroll's website, and I'll be starting my reaction from the minutes and 30 second mark in 1 0 go. Oh, we're on pumped up for this. Because honestly, this series has been a surprise over the last few weeks. Damn. Aww. <laughs> oh, man, I just love the coldness, but I'm not gonna blame the lady though. And it was, and it made sense that we're gonna see some consequences too. Ah. I mean, hey. I'm not gonna blame him for thinking that, but at the same time, yeah, that's a good point. Unless he can, say, give her some lottery. <laughs> oh, man. That's actually kind of cute. I mean, some of the stuff Takamichi does does kind of make his intelligent suspect. Maybe they can look a specific way the date that Draken dies, and maybe that can help our boy in preventing his death. Hmm. Jeez. <laughs> Eesh. That could be. Who knows? Maybe it could be his boy. Oh. Hey, this could give him some hope in saving Draken. The thing is, though, Mikey might have met Kesaki at this point. That's what he has to realize. No, it is possible. Maybe at the point in time when he was in the past, but yeah, I mean, at best, maybe he shouldn't be going into the past until the week afterwards. Hmm. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. It keeps on being Takasaki. I mean, oh yeah, they sh oh, it's just scary though because in those two weeks, if they're both mentally prepared to confront this, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Wait, how did that happen? <laughs> I wonder if um, this is a paid lady. Because she did say no kissing. <laughs> I mean, hey, you should have just gone with what was already paid for, you know? I wonder if. Um, I don't think it was more than enough. Maybe it was paid for. That's it. She. Oh! 
Oh, that. That, that caught me by surprise. She suspects something. Oh, okay. Woo. So that means that we get the younger image perspective of Takam. Yeah, so that means the image of Takamichi is in the body then. Whenever our boy's in the future, but when he comes back from the future, it's the adult Takamichi. That's actually pretty damn freaking cool then. To know. I love how he adds the cunt the name. I mean, hey, might as well. I just love how Dragon Man go. Oh! Yeah, but that could be dangerous. <laughs> For Hina, because what if um, Draken wants Takamichi as backup if it's like a big on um, fight between gangs? But I do love Hina's bravery there, though. You know, that's a good question. What someone considers important. Aww. I love how Hina appreciates the finer things in life. Aww. Oh, I hope they can spend decades like this together, man. That'd be so beautiful. Oh, my. I gotta admit, that is all badass entrance. It's definitely when the bikes give it away. <laughs> Damn, they're all rendered. Holy shit. I mean, it is the past, so... Oh boy. Whoa. Mitsu Takakashi. <laughs> All right, at least the man was put in his place. I'm not gonna blame him since social media in those times wasn't super common. I'm not gonna blame him for them not. Well, at least not all of them learn how Takamichi's face looks like. Yes, thank you. I always love seeing him. Huh. <laughs> I love how they already had him turn wiping. <laughs> hey, aww. <laughs> Dragon is such a sweetheart. Alright, at least they're patching things up. Oh, the Amos Smith's blonde hair beauty. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh, my. <laughs> Damn it. What is... Oh man, our boy sunk himself in the deep hole here. He deserved that! <laughs> mm. 
That is a good... Yeah. That actually does make me question the younger Takamichi a lot more now. Scary if he actually would have dipped instead of her then. Yeah, he dodged a bullet. Okay, oh, shit, I got more respect to Draken then. <laughs> Holy shit. I thought he'd have been fucking pissed us hell at her boy, never mind. First Tokyo. I actually do like Mikey's scope there. It looks pretty damn cool. Whew. I mean, Mikey does have a commanding presence. Oh, it makes sense that we're going to be people that are going to have some negative feelings towards Sakamachi there. Yeah, you would think they'd keep themselves in check with Draken and Mikey there. Just hope this means our boys got his guard up. That is life, though sometimes crazy shit happens. Hell, heard of a case of someone getting guilt for $12, so that's life sometimes. Oh. Yo, that is wild. Jeez. Okay, that's a scary. That since how Dragon got stabbed, then shit, when you have lesser numbers, man, yeah, it's a lot higher chance of suffering huge ramifications there. The thing is, <laughs> whoa! Look how Mikey has even like zero fear. Then that means Mikey's gonna join the fight. Yeah, Mikey doesn't seem like the type would back down away. Yes. Love is just showing you how much of a charismatic leader Mikey is. <gasps> oh, no, 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 no. Well, at least our boy has a date now. That's easier said than done. 
Mm. So maybe that's the conflict, and the Mina just set it up the narrative that way. Back in the day. Um, he doesn't have the strength of doing that. Oh! <laughs> I mean, he could still try just keeping that date marked. I love how he's super paranoid now. Our boy. Oh, <laughs> oh this is looking at oh. <laughs> That's cute, though. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, that's cute. I like it. You can see Mikey shows his vulnerable side when he's alone with Draken, but when he's around a multiple people, he's a badass. Yeah, this makes me love Draken more than I already did. Huh. Aww. Jeez. I mean, it's not like it's their fault directly, though, but I can see. I can see why Draken would be doing that. Oh boy. Alright, good, good. At least you have Draken there balance on Mikey. Mikey is right too, though. But I get to why Draken wouldn't want to escalate the situation. Honestly, there's no right and wrong answer dealing with this. At the very least, this situation cooled off. Hmm. That's a great point. No wonder why Mikey changes when Draken dies. 
Well, yeah, I mean, Draken was there to balance out Mikey and with Draken dead. Yeah. With someone showing a merciful approach and them dying, Mikey probably thought that being a savage was the way to go. Mm-hmm. No, these two are such bros. I love it. <laughs> yeah, I had a feeling too. They have way too much love for each other. The thing is, though... The world might not give a shit about that. So they just gotta hope that our boy can set up circumstances where... They can at the very least succeed in surviving. But overall, great episode. I'm definitely going to be giving this one an 8.75 out of 10 because it did a lot in a small amount of time. At least now we find out that, yeah, Mackie and Draken never really got into an argument with each other. And that was nice to hear at the very least. And aside from that, I love how this episode, it also revealed that on top of everything we saw, I love seeing those moments where Hina gets um, a bit angry at Takemichi, and it's nice because it increases tension not knowing that Takemichi, at least his younger perspective, operates the body whenever Takemichi's future um, consciousness is in while his body's in the future consciousness. I love that acts of extra bit of tension there. And it allows the narrative to speed up a little bit more. That's why I really like the episode. Now, aside from that, there are other elements that were good. I love how we see Draken's kind-hearted side. He looked a bit rough, but I like how this episode shows his compassionate side. That was beautiful. And plus, we get to see Mikey, the inner savage in him that could be unleashed if you were to meet Kisaki. I absolutely love that too because it makes the scenes having him a much more tense now. That's why I like this episode and I love how it shows you the consequences of everything involving Kiyo Masa. That's why I thought the writing was great. And on top of that, there was a decent amount of plot progression because at least now talking meet you find out the circumstances regarding how Draken dies and that will give him at least a shot of resolving things Clean, cleanly at the very least. And the animation quality and art quality were good, so visually the episode its job from a audio standpoint sounded pretty good. And that's what I thought the episode's worthy of an 8.75 out of 10, in my opinion. But anyways, these are my thoughts on the episode. I'd love to hear your thoughts on how I feel about my reaction or the episode itself in the comment section below. Hope you'll rate the bit, share it, comment, subscribe, and I'll see y'all later if you come back for more. Bye bye everyone.